Hello friends, I am Ashwin. In this video, I am going to show you one of the fantastic game played by Mikhail Tal. This game was played uh, against uh, Selenikov in 1970. Mikhail Tal opened the game with pawn to e4. Selenikov played pawn to e6, pawn to d4 and pawn to d5. And this is known as uh, French defense. In this position, Mikhail Tal played knight to d2, the terrace variation. Here, of course, the main move is playing knight to c3. But uh, this move has a drawback. Uh, this blocks this pawn on c2 so when black attacks a pawn on d4 you cannot defend at it by playing pawn to c3 so knight d2 keeps this option open here comes the knight to f6 pawn to e5 knight f to d7 and now bishop to d3 and this is the best place for white's light score bishop pawn to c5 attacking the pawn chain from the base here comes pawn to c3 defending it knight to c6 attacking a d4 pawn once more and now knight g to f3 defending it Pawn capture d4, pawn capture d4 and pawn to f6. And this is one of the key ideas or strategy in playing French defense. What you are doing is you are attacking this pawn chain in two different ways. One is from the base that is pawn on d4 and one is from the front that is pawn on e5. But by, but, uh, by doing so actually uh, you are creating a weakness on e6 but that can be easily defended by black's uh, light square bishop which is a bad bishop. And why black is you know just... Uh, deliberately uh, creating this weakness on e6 the idea is uh, if you play see a pawn capture on f6 then after queen capture f6 or uh, knight capture f6 black's idea is to roll his pawn and thus uh, you know activate this bishop a uh, light square bishop but in this position the white's main move is to play e capture on f6 and after queen capture f6 or knight capture f6 actually you can create a strong blockade on this e5 square and thus limiting the activity of uh, black's light square bishop but in this position Mikhail Tal went for hunt he played knight to g5 opening up this uh, uh, queen's diagonal and by sacrificing the piece on g5 black played pawn capture on g5 and here comes queen to h5 check pawn to g6 and here comes another piece sacrifice bishop capture g6 h capture g6 and now queen capture g6 check king e7 the only move and here Mikhail Tal want to play this bishop capture on g5 and thus the winning queen but uh, for that he has to just move this knight from d2 actually there are two options that is a uh, knight to f3 and knight to c4 and Mikhail Tal choose knight to c4 which is in fact a mistake of course the idea is to you know this knight can go to even d6 and that is uh, that is the key idea but this is a mistake if you wish you can pause the video here and find the winning for black here black can win this game by you know sacrificing the piece on e5 knight capture on e5 the idea is creating some room for his king and also attacking white's queen so say you are playing knight capture e5 and it comes uh, knight capture e5 and if you play this uh, bishop capture on g5 then black can play king d7 and if you take my queen i can take your queen too and thus winning this game and if you play simply again knight capture e5 then pawn capture e5 and black can play this king to d7 and there is no more attack and black king is safe and thus black is having an extra piece so this is a winning position for black so therefore knight to c4 was a mistake but black was so afraid that he played uh, bishop to h6 defending this uh, g5 pawn but here comes bishop capture on a g5 check and after bishop capture g5 it's a checkmate in two so if you wish you can pause the video here find the checkmate sequence and the move is queen to g7 check and after king to e8 which is the only move a knight to d6 is checkmate so friends how was the game i hope you did like my video if you did like um, if you do like my video please do subscribe my channel for more videos thanks for watching bye bye